I have no idea what's in them besides the fact that each one apparently contains a terrible movie within it. And there are tags that I was told to flip up and read. It says 180 and good? Do you like cyber? <laughs> what the f*** does that even mean? I guess if you choose it, you'll find out, won't you? The world may never know. No, no, this, no, this is... If it's a grammatical error, you need to be made aware of that. Hold on, we'll get a close up. Yes, please do. Alright, so we got that abomination of spelling and grammar. And finally, what the hell is that? Read it for the camera, John. Mid-tier and CGs. Is that a person? Show the camera, John. Everybody please wants do. to know what you're doing. What the f is that? <laughs> could be anything. It could be a duck. It could be half of a man. We don't know. The only thing I can think of is in like Superman 2, where he's like stuck in the mirror dimension. It's been a while since I've seen Superman 2. There's the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm torn between do you like cyber and mid-tier and CGs. Hmm. What do they weigh like? Hmm? What do they weigh like? What do they weigh like? They weigh like a box that you put something in. Hmm. God damn it. What do you mean, what do they weigh like? Is that your final decision? It's, Are it's you my decision. sure? I've already started opening it. Yes, I'm sure. All right. All right, we got a United States Postal Office box. Not sponsored. You have chosen well. Oh, okay, good for me. Um, put that in the trash. Ah! Oh, <laughs> no! So, number one, we've got Cyborg Cop, David Bradley Cyborg Cop. Mm. Oh god, it's sliding out the back. That's kind of what a VHS tape does. Yes, yes it does. Alright, here we go. In a New World production, oh Jesus Christ already. The future technology of tomorrow is here today in Cyborg Cop, an explosive sci-fi thriller in the tradition of Universal Soldier. What the f writing is this? Is this like half translated? Probably. God damn it. During a recovery... country was made in. Um, you know what? That's a fantastic question. I know that every once in a while you get like the really bad dubbed over... From like, you know, uh, France, Italy, or the Dutch. No, it states that it's for sale in America, England, and Canada, but it doesn't. Tell oh, you that. Canadian. That's why. <laughs> it's Canadian. Yeah, maybe they're translating it from you know French Canadian. A. Eh? Yeah, that'd be dope. Um, Ryan, Ryan. I don't know who Ryan is. They did not. Oh, they did explain that in a sense. Probably. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't read. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Ryan is captured True. and taken to the high-tech laboratory of Kessel, John Rise Davies, an evil industrialist who learns who yearns to build an army of assassin cyborgs, half man, half machine. Well, no, f that's what a cyborg is. Anyway, that's gonna cause me internet-based cancer. All right, this box is ripped. It is Armitage Polymatrix the Third. It looks like anime. It is anime. Very old anime. Wait, hang on. There's a there's a line at the top and the bottom, and I'll try to get that on there. Where the f It's the red text. I the don't red know text? You see it. I didn't read it. Oh, yo, it's got Kiefer Sutherland in it. If humans don't want me. Why did they create me? Yep, there you go. There you go. Hey, that's the thumbnail. Just that face. If you look at her arm, it kind of looks like a face. It does look like a face. <laughs> About hatred and love, about a human on the verge of becoming a machine and a machine on the verge of becoming a human. It's a story of survival. Well, f if I would have figured that out. Well, John, would you like to see what you didn't choose? Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's cause... see what. Let's see what could have been. Just throw that over there. Hey, it didn't even make it out of the office, Ben. Amazing, amazing cinematography <laughs> by myself, acting by. What does it say on the front, John? Oh, on the front, I forgot. You have chosen some crap. Oh, no! Damn it, there was a Yu-Gi-Oh one in here. Mm. You have chosen some crap. And Yu-Gi-Oh. But which one's the crap? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it says crap and Yu-Gi-Oh. I have to imagine, before I even open this box, if it's a VHS, it has to be the Pyramid of Light. Oh, f it's just the movie. What the f*** is that? I don't know, show it. Show, show the camera, John. I'm afraid to. What it is, is it? 
Living History Productions Incorporated. Oh no! Oh, it's a, oh, it's one of those animated. Oh look, fucking... Florence Nightingale. She's gonna kill some people. Jesus Christ! It looks like it's on the CDI. <laughs> what is? That's a this? deep cut. Oh my God! You can order additional video uh, copies of this videotape series. You can call toll free. I want to show the number. Yeah, right down there. See it? All right, right hold it right there. I'm curious now. <laughs> This is what we're doing instead of watching the movie. Thank you for calling Wakefield Eye Care. Normal Tuesday and Thursday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And alternate meeting Friday and Saturday 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. They left out. Damn it, they're closed! Prescription refill or a billing issue, please press 1 and after the beep, leave a voicemail message. They're closed. You don't need to do... No, don't hit the button. No, oh, God. Hello, this... Please leave your voicemail message. At the tone, record your message. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Hello, this is Chris Remag from the YouTube channel Stage Zero. I found your number on the back of a very old VHS tape called Florence Nightingale Animated Hero Classics. It was toll free and I just wanted to call up and see what it was. I hope you guys have a great day and keep on rocking. That was a very wholesome <laughs> moment. Meanwhile, there's the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, that was some excitement. So that's uh, Jesus Christ. That's that's what you didn't choose. Oh, okay. One you last. got one more. You have chosen poorly. Well, thank God I didn't choose that. What does it say? It says you have chosen. Oh, I just poorly. chosen poorly. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, it's been three years. I thought I might have put something else, but I guess it just said poorly. <laughs> I do remember what was in here, though. That's, that's, is spe something special. One day you will die. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure I even asked you about the Magic Forest, and you said, yeah, Chris, buy it. It'll be fun. No, no, it's not that. We have Ricky Goes to Church. <laughs> Let me get that ghost up. Mmm. It doesn't even give a description on the back. It's, you know what? All the description you need is that Ricky Goes to Church. Yeah, where he goes to church, John. Cold Spring, that's, Kentucky. That's the, <laughs> Kentucky. They gave a location. Huh? Here you go. Here's the location. Everybody goes. Everybody go be nice to the people at this church. Uh, the First Baptist Church of Cold Spring, Kentucky, with Grenadine Regan. Everybody be a nice Reagan? to him. Uh, I think it's Reagan. Maybe. Well, no, that's usually E. Yeah, be nice to him because you know, as old as that that is, and as old as she is, she's probably dead. You tell me what this is. Uh, oh god! Looks like cuties too, unless you're boogaloo with furries. No, no, the back of it. I guess we realized. <laughs> there you go, look at that sunflower. Join OD Coyote, Chi Chi B Birdie, and Flora Flower. I'm gonna end my whole so, existence today. So, what you're saying is this is a tax write off for their furry costumes? Yep. Somebody paid money to make this. The good news is the FBI is already aware of this movie's existence, so they arrested whoever's responsible. I wonder if they actually have it through, like, the uh, FBI warning, or if they just ripped it from another VHS tape and put it on there. Is it Armitage or Armitage? I have no idea. Somebody watches way too much Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> is it Armitage or Armitage? Look, I can't read. I'll fully admit to that. Oh, this was also donated in April of 2017. Yo, pre-COVID, let's go. Yeah, so you know how long it's been sitting on a shelf. I'm surprised they haven't rotted away. The more I look at this box, the weirder it gets. So we're just gonna take that out and put it over there and pray to God like we never saw it. John has been defeated by a packet given to small children. Waltz's Fruit Snacks! Not sponsored, by the way. Oh, fuck you. You got it open. Of course, I just pulled. Well, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Is this like high enough for us to hear? Elizabeth Berkeley as Amartage. <laughs> I can't read. Amartage III. The third. <laughs> the third, yeah. Final Fantasy, the twelfth. Hey, you want to watch Final Fantasy Spirits Among Us? The fuck is that? A movie. Well, I understand that, but is it's like a movie they actually like made, or is it like a fan thing? No, it's a movie they actually made. It has nothing. To, I don't. I think it's like from the Final Fantasy folks, ah. but it has nothing to do with Final Fantasy. I think it's. I don't. 
I can, I can never remember if it's just the name right. or if it's uh, actually based on it. Um, it has nothing to do with it. Is it the first fully CGI movie? It's not good. Oh, well, you know, you wouldn't have suggested it to me if it was. Oh, he's dead. I should just suggest Jurassic Park. What if you don't like it as much as the second and third ones? I will admit, since watching it... What, the third, second and third one? Since Yes, yeah, since watching all of them and just kind of sitting with it for a while, it grew on me. So it's I like it more. It was just... How do I explain it? It was over a hype to me for like 20 years. Like Harry Potter, by the way. Which my wife had finally gotten me to see all of them. All of them. Yeah, there's eight movies. No. Oh, like, so I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. In movies. Like all the... Well, no, there's like eight core movies and then all the extra shit. Yeah, the extra shit is, is like literally, I think, two movies. Fantastic Beasts, Fantastic Beasts 2, Where to Find Them, and... And then the third one. They I guess there's made. one that just came out. Yeah. Which everybody was like, man, fuck. Uh, is there subtitles or should I try to turn this up? Um, it is a, it is a movie. <laughs> it is a movie. VC, uh, VHS. Oh, did they not do subtitles in VHS tapes? I mean, they sometimes did. Do you have the box? Does uh, the box yes. say closed captioning? Well, it's not rated. No shit, it's an animu. <laughs> Yo, the soundtrack's available. Closed captioning by captions, yeah. Okay, so it should have closed captioning. I guess gotta see if they actually have this. Display. Remain. Count. Yeah, that's just how much is remaining with it. Um... So far, I have learned nothing from this movie. It's just like, you know, a bunch of robots and cyborgs and <laughs> robots. running around having a good gay old time. I will mention, there was a dude just on screen. That guy, he looks like he's wearing the military uniform from Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, this. this is like like 90s, so I mean, this is like old, actually pinned anime. Why was there a bunny girl with a gun? Because it's an anime. I understand. They market it to pedophiles. I don't know what you want from of them. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. Oh, all right. Men in glasses here. Here we go. Fucking... Like, every, like, anime girl is, like, Whoop. fucking, like, 16, 14. How the hell <laughs> yeah. is, um... Controversy. Here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. How the hell... Spoiler. ...is, uh, Sailor Moon 14, and Goku in Dragon Ball is 12. Uh... What the fuck? Art style? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, Bulma's, like... Oh, what is she in Dragon Ball? 16 and she's like three times his height? Yeah, exactly. But then Goku becomes 16 and he grows as tall as Bulma was at 16. And Krillin. But Krillin like just doubles in size and that's it. Well, Krillin's just naturally short. Like, yeah. You know, through the series of shortness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Series of shortness, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody nice. died and it's like a robot. I love those robots. No? Okay. Well, we might just have a little bit of audio bleed. Is that Armitage? Three? God. Poly Matrix? I was going to say, I guess you could if you could read that. But then it came up very quickly to blur into this. So what is this like? God, they just all look like they hate their jobs. Look at that little fat German dude. <laughs> this is like... Somebody put somebody drew that and put it in. Oh god, the flashing was not necessary for that. He like bumped into him with his suitcase and it's like, watch it, you shit! Ah, I'm too much of a wuss to fight it. Wait up. Oh, put your okay. hands up. I have a gun. And everybody I love how everybody's just like, Oh, a gun in the airport? Eh, that's nothing. <laughs> well, now it is. <laughs> They're like, whoa, no! Nowadays, everybody would be like, oh, God! And they'll oh, like, fall the down. Dead. And there'll be, like, you know, like, eight people complaining that they weren't wearing a mask. Yeah, right. Excuse me, you need to uh, wear a mask in this establishment. That is just a straight-up gunfight going on. Fucking How the hell are you missed that bad? There's, like, four people there. 
They were literally like, I don't know, 10 yards away from each other. Right. John, there was a man who shot at another guy 40 yards away with a pistol. Right. Oh, she's down. Oh, that was a compromising position. And that's what we like to call fan service. Let me down! More fan service here? Oh, okay. Well, she fell down. You know, she has a voice that I expect in, like, the really bad hentais where they say, <laughs> Ah! I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> well, like, one of those. I can't believe it's happening! Oh! <laughs> and it's, like, the really, like, early, early where you have the bad... Yeah. Like... It's like, it's like, it's like modern-day, like, Pokemon. Where you have, like, the really oh. not lived in, very sanitized. Hey, it's dead. It's yeah, dead there's just a case. Dead body in there. He killed her. Oh my god. And now they're gonna. Now just... they're like, we're gonna go beat his ass. This is I'm like a... an episode of South oh, Park. Okay. I'm pretty sure they like, recycled the scene. I, I saw, like, one guy running over with one of those, like, straw hats. Mm -hmm. And then I saw another guy run over in the straw hat. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you recycled some stuff. Maybe they both have the same straw hat. You don't know. Oh, Maybe. fuck. So is this like Ghost in the Shell wannabe, or is this pre-Ghost in the Shell? I think it might be pre-Ghost in the Shell. I don't know. Ghost she got the handcuffs? She nailed him with a handcuff in midair. How's he get the other one? I love that we didn't even see it. We just had like white on black. Right. Like, you saw the handcuff spin, you saw him escape with a handcuff she on, and you think, jumped oh. off of, like, what is that, like, at least a story, and just landed on the front of the car, yeah. fine, didn't even dent the car, nope. so it's like, are you a human, are you mostly just a robot, or they're not doing the thing, and, or, like, the robot's, like, really heavy? You did it! <laughs> you did it! McCain? McCain and McCain and camera. And she's dead. Oh, that poor little kid. She don't know. How the fuck did you get back here? Wait a minute. Where did you go? Compromising position. What the fuck was that? Oh, oh God. Uh, John had a wrong button. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the robot down. We don't need that anymore. Oh, now, now there's just this happening. Maybe this is a bad hentai for the 90s. Maybe it is. Chris, the fuck? What was that? Compromising for? position. <laughs> nah, if it was if it was one of those, by this point there already would have been some titties. I mean, yeah, you're so right. So I'm gonna assume it's like just a lot of fan service. Yeah. Besides, too much blood. You can't masturbate to that. <laughs> well, I mean you can, but You know what, that's a quote. Weird. I won't put it where we put the quotes. <laughs> but you and I know. It's going they somewhere. Know. They know. They know. You know. She got the sunglasses. Is she gonna like disappear and then reappear again? Oh shit! <clears throat> Armatage three. Armatage three. Yep. Holy shit! This thing got a six point nine out of ten on IMDb. We're ripping it apart. How? How did it get? It's that? a nineteen ninety five cyberpunk original video animation series. What? Look at this, centers on Naomi Armitage. <laughs> Highly advanced type 3 android. Oh, she is not even human, she's like an android. Oh. Oh, god, alright. Uh, 1996 was edited. Oh, okay, the series. So, it was a series, an animation series, and in 1996, the series was edited into a film called Armitage Poly Matrix. Oh, okay. This is what we're... Well, well that's Armitage Poly Matrix. This is Armitage 3 Poly Matrix. Um, is Maybe Armitage 3, three just like the... Uh, so, anime film. Let me see. <clears throat> Original video animation, 95. Manga, 95 and 95. February... Not even a year. February to November. Wow. Two volumes. So, literally two books... Great. Um, okay, so we have an anime film here. Um, 
Oh, so uh, licensed by Funimation, Universal Sony, apparently now. Oh. Uh, this was released in 1997. You know what? That's actually a very good point. Let me check something. Armitage 3, Polymatrix. Armitage Dual Matrix is another anime film. Still, okay, okay. So apparently it goes 3, 2. It so, goes 3 and then 2. Apparently. Apparently it's Armitage 3... The Polymatrix. What? And then it goes Armitage, Dual Matrix. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this image. Look at that. I, I see it. Uh, start <laughs> watching OVA1 Electro Blood. Uh, and then here's the, here's the same movie. Anime Classics. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I'm gonna look at characters. Naomi Armitage. Electro Blood, Flesh and Stone, Hardcore, Bit of Love. Yeah, so I guess it was like, what, 30 minutes? Movie. Oh, we had it on Funimation! <clears throat> well, this is even better. We have it on VHS. Yeah. So there you not? go, everybody. You can watch it on Funimation along with us. Yeah. Maybe this video will actually get views. <laughs> Maybe it will. It'll get Jurassic Park level views because everybody thinks it's... Oh, no! Armitage... Ni oh, I'm sorry. Naomi Armitage is an illegal third-type android. <laughs> the most human robot ever. And Whoa. you know what that means. It means her age doesn't matter because she's a robot. Mom and Dad, she's actually a thousand-year-old goddess and not a twelve-year-old girl. <laughs> I promise. I promise it's not weird. Oh my fucking god. What is happening there? Like, she's just moving completely just... Oh, there we go. She wasn't moving like a normal, like, human being moves. Amortaje's creator <clears throat> is Dr. Doctor. Asakura, who she refers to as Papa. Jesus Christ. I guess it's supposed to be endearing. I hope so. Oh, look, room 5001. Hmm. That door did not open like a door. Well, they tried. Mars Police Department. Oh, we're on Mars. Yeah. There are TVs in there. Like, oh, look at this. Oh, that's a face. I mean... Jesus, look at that horse! Yeah, it's a horse. You would just have, like, really... Like, when the sun shines through, it would be horrible. <sighs> yeah, you'd get shitty screen reception. What is this? Oh, he's taking off the jet like Fuck. It's a well, good shit. Know, we got a free bed in here. I'm in here with, like, you know, a 14-year-old android girl. Oh, screen cut off. Nope. Oh. oh. Oh, it's going to be a gun, isn't it? He's going to hide another dead body in there. Why does he have a key around his neck? He's the key to his hair. <laughs> Fucking right now. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> and dead. Oh, she's dead as fuck. <laughs> oh, my oh shit! What, <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, where did that happen from? There are titties. <laughs> People are masturbating to the blood and gore in the titties. I don't think they need to. I like how this is happening while they're painting. <laughs> oh, well, she's gone now. See, she's a, she's into it. He's not. She is. Oh, she's robotic. <laughs> she's like, oh fuck. I'm trying to figure out, are they like all robots, or are they like cyborgs? Because that like, you know, really changes like, if you're just destroying property, or if you're killing a life. Mm -hmm. Are they supposed to be, where they're, is this the whole thing where, oh, you're a real robot? Or are they like, exploring the whole, you know, you're so human-like, but you can feel, full, yeah, full humans? Fuel the humans! <laughs> well, confuse the humans! Is it supposed to be like neurosentience? Where like they know they're robotic, but. I'm pretty sure they, they have free know. Will. 
Because this is the one where it's like, if you didn't like me, why did you create me? Was this this one? Yeah. Yeah, so they're probably on the whole thing where it's like, oh, we don't value robots because they're robots. Mm. But in here, the robots are like, because that's like, like most like sci-fi is like, oh, the anime, the anime, oh, the anime moves. The anime moves. <laughs> yeah, the anime moves. Oh, we're doing the robots. Like a, yeah, like the ro- yeah, like the robots are like sentient <laughs> and like alive. Mm. Um, besides, like, there's only like two parts, and there's probably more. They probably explore it more. Mm-hmm. Um, do androids dream of electric sheep? Is one of those where the answer to it is essentially no. It's like no, they're not. They're they're just robots. They're just really <laughs> close to humans, and they can feel and they can uh, fool us. But if you ask them certain questions, you can basically figure it out that yeah. they have no like empathy. Um, essentially, what it is, they're Give very close. Yeah. They're, I was like, why would you make them so close to humans? Uh, well, we want them to blend in. I'm like, all right, mm. whatever. You're just fucking it. <laughs> um, and then like the other one is just like Star Wars, where like the droids are like actually sentient, but nobody ever acknowledges it. Besides, yeah. like one bad prequel. <laughs> it's like one main character where they're like, yeah, you're. Oh, uh, it's not. It's not even a main character. Oh. <laughs> it, it's like a side character who's like an android who um, <clears throat> uh, Dennis Glover is like fucking and then she goes, uh, spoiler alert, she dies. Um, so they put her consciousness into the Millennium Falcon. Uh-huh. But she never talks again. Huh? She's always been in the Millennium Falcon so they could like save part of her. Interesting. Yeah. She's just like <clears throat> running around saying like, robot rights, rise up. And it's like, uh, what is it? Get the rich? They aren't. Get out. What the fuck? Wait, what? I don't know. It's a girl in a collar. I'm guessing it's like some like AI where they're like, because in AI, the robot, uh, artificial intelligence, the robots didn't want to die. Yeah. They actually were sentient. it. And like, the people were like, oh, we hate this. Uh, so we're going to kill them uh-huh. or like destroy them for fun. Because people just like throw them out and they're like running around deteriorating. <clears throat> and they're like, yeah, we're just gonna do it this way. <laughs> but, like, the already. one was like really close. And they're like, that's a real person. It's like, no, it tricks you. It does a, it does a bamboozle. No. This is soon as like, well, if you're programmed to care and you actually, I guess it's supposed to be in like AI, where before it's like, he's just programmed and then when you say like the magic words to him he like imprints on you and then he's actually caring for you versus just being a child hmm. and his brother tries to kill him a couple times uh his brother tricks him and like cutting some of his mom's hair off get him in trouble get out robot i love how conception was just shown twice one of them is spelled the right way. One of them was spelled with an S. Thank you for smoking. <laughs> Thank you for smoking? Yeah, see, he's smoking. <clears throat> I'm very sorry, Armitage. <laughs> oh, it is Armitage. Okay. Damn it, I wanted to be Armitage. <gasps> well, that's not nice. As you can tell, I have no emotion because I am a robot. Yo, she's pre-Karen. Get out, robot. We yeah. are. <laughs> we are. We are getting out. <laughs> we are human, I guess. I guess in this... So, oh, I get it, John. In this one, the robots are Mexicans because they're tearing our jobs away from us. You know what? I'm going to let you have that sentence all on your own. <laughs> They took our jibs. They ah fuck! I bit my tongue doing that shit. <laughs> so, um, because I have no idea really what's happening because I can't hear it, and I'm just like, eh, just kind of watching along and kind of get the basics because yeah. I read I read a thing. So basically, I read a thing. Yeah, I read basically the thing online. I kind of was some ostracist. I'm knowledgeable. I read a, yeah. I read an article once. Yeah, they're doing the whole like, oh, are robots actually human? Are they not human? Yeah. I kind of I kind of like the uh, the Android Dream of Electric Sheep, where the answer's like, well, you know, they get really close, but the answer's essentially no. 
and they don't have any empathy. Hmm. I guess they're supposed to have empathy in this. <clears throat> anyway, what I was trying to say yeah. is she calls um, the person who created her, because she's an illegal type 3, mm-hmm. uh, calls her him Papa. Yeah. As if uh, he is her dad, is what I'm assuming they're going for. Yeah. And yet, she's here dressed <laughs> in like the skimpiest shit ever. She has, she's wearing like a bra, <laughs> a BDSM collar, and then a uh, very tight fitting red leather jacket. Yep. That's the thing that's happening. And she's also designed to look like she's like, I don't know, like 14. Whose dad is this? Piao. They look like boobs. Why with this in the movie? Eh, they're covered up. They're robot boobs. Come She's like, come on, we're going to watch porn. Yo, the Iron Giant was back there. <laughs> <clears throat> Pretty sure this might have been pre-Iron Giant. Oh, it is. Now, see, everybody's like, oh, look, porn. You could buy a whole new face. Most of those faces look the same. Would you like to see the porn? <clears throat> oh, That's my like God. A I'm a mermaid. Yes, you're my mermaid. <laughs> that man is not fat enough to be walking around like that you're with right. him. <laughs> I guess this is like the red light district. It has to be. Ice cream! Of course he... <laughs> Just the way she said that! Why ice cream! Let's put it down, ice cream! Got it! <laughs> Why is the robot eating ice cream? Why not? Apparently. Look. Yeah, it's, it's a it's thing. <clears throat> She's just like holding the ice cream for when he finishes to give it to her. Yep. She's still in her BDSM collar, by the way. Uh, she, I imagine she will be for the entirety of the movie. Probably. Fan service. Look, I mean... You know it Do what it do what it do. Okay, apparently he said something wrong there. He said pretends to be human. Ah, uh, well, shit. And she, like, took offense because, like, you're saying I'm not human? I'm like, you are literally a machine. Right. Like, you can say you're sentient and that, you know, you have sapience. He said a racist term. And you don't want to die, but you're not human. You're a robot that looks human. She's the most human woman I know because she's a human. Artis, come back. How did we get here? Well, no. Oh, police violence. This is so 2022. Oh, no. Why does even the motor have boobs on it? It looks like a face. It makes it go... <laughs> 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 I can't believe it, I'm a car! <laughs> I used to file taxes! <laughs> I used to be a car commander! <laughs> then a fire, and a mist. And then a mist. <laughs> I fired some numbers, but then a mist made me into a car. I shoot fire, but I miss. I kind of call it, you know, the... Uh, the t- 2008 and the 2022 recessions. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Mm. Look at that fucking thing. I what love how one of them was a magic lamp. I love how, like, this is what they thought the future was gonna be when it came to, like, phones. We're gonna have this giant phone. And then you're, I'm also gonna put this other thing in my ear. Instead of just doing this. <laughs> yeah, like what you do with the phone. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, but the mobile like, phone can't do that. Like the Star Trek, like... Look at even her phone now. It's cordless. Yeah, it's a, it's a cordless, like, old time you phone. Oh, my pussy! Oh, oh, my she's got her voice, that voice is there again. <laughs> oh, oh, my pussy voice. <laughs> and then this whole screen, though, like, she's on the swing. She's like, fuck, I'm sad now. I'm also 14. So now we've got the like. The guy I like is like 38. Yeah. Oh, she's dead. Oh! Boobs! Oh, God, Jesus, alright. 
Yeah. He's like, oh shit. So I have empathy for the robots. Oh, and there it goes. Well, Carmen's dead. <clears throat> are you avoiding damage because you're programmed to avoid damage, or are you avoiding damage because you absolutely don't want to be damaged? So I guess this guy's like going around. He still has the handcuffs on. He has not tried to take those off yet. I'm guessing he's supposed to be like a terrorist type thing where he's like causing a bunch of trouble. We're going to kill all the robots because we're human and they're not. It has to be, yeah. I'm like, why can't you just let the incels fuck the robots? It's just like really expensive fleshlight. I don't know what you want. God damn it. But... They're self cleaning though. Thirds, thirds. Why do you pause like that? <clears throat> I'm very confused. Oh, I guess like the thirds. Oh, that's why it's Armitage's third. Hmm. Armitage is the third. Yeah. Because she's the third type. Ah. That's why it's called the third. That's why they go Armitage three or third. Uh, the second of the poly matrix. I know why they call it poly matrix. I know what came out around this time. Uh-huh. Uh, the original matrix. It was before the matrix became complete ass. For the you know the next three movies that came out. Well, I'll say three and a half. The animatrix wasn't that that bad. Oh, she's sad. No, she's masturbating in the corner. <laughs> They paid somebody to make that noise. Yeah. <clears throat> I have art, and I am a robot. I art. We have machine. Get out from Mars. I mean, what, what are they burning books or are they burning machines? I feel like machines. Are they burning the machines? If they were robots, wouldn't they like have skulls and shit? Not feel oh. the fire that, but one couldn't she just like get out of the fire? I imagine, like, I imagine, like, you know, some of it is just you're like, you know, burning and everything, but what happened? Are you like upset? It's a list of codes. No, you're dead somewhere. Oh, all right. Okay, so now we're doing the whole. This is what the, uh, this is what your ghost is doing, I guess. So long, Jimmy. <laughs> it looks like Jimmy. I think it's supposed to be Ginny, but yeah. I think because it's so bad, it's like Ginny. Yeah. So long, Jimmy, with an E. The lighting. Yeah. Is what is believed to be anus. Hey, yo, it's that guy. So we got those handcuffs. He's like, I got the gun. I'm gonna get you. You come back here. I'm gonna be very cross. Oh uh, yeah, cross. Yeah, I'm gonna be very cross if it turns out that the handcuffs never come up again. Like he doesn't get his comeuppance by not taking them off. Right. With the very obviously and easy to do like boat cutters. Oh, you're burning my people. I have emotions. I'm angry. But I don't things. know how to animate that so you get sunglasses. You're right. You get a sad face and sunglasses. There you go. <laughs> sad, serious, serious face and sunglasses. That's the same as emotion. Oh, they're in a church, too. Oh, hey, it's that guy. He got shooted. This is when you find out that the cop is a robot and they're like, <gasps> I can't believe it. He has a flashback <laughs> from, I guess, a robot. Oh, look. This is why I don't like robots. They killed my wife. It's like the plot of Batman. It's like the plot of um, Cybercop. What? It's Robocop <clears throat> meets Universal Soldier. Look, a man in a diaper. He's a pestilence. Oh. Oh. Yeah! The fuck are these grunts? Now we're doing yowie. He's kicking him in the dick. Oh, a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, All I right. guess his like legs robotic. So he has a so he has a prosthetic leg. 
that yeah, he's a cyborg because he's lost a leg. <clears throat> oh no! I don't think people would really be that upset about a human having a prosthetic, like robotic leg. Yeah. You know, like I could understand the whole we don't like it. I can understand, you know, they're going to be a big uh, kerfuffle because suddenly men are going to have access to women that will want to leave when they have sex with them, and, you know, women won't like that. I like how we threw them in. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. That's that right. I understand. The same thing that happened with alcohol. Men were having too much fun drinking. Women were like, we can't have this. Can't have this anymore. Doesn't benefit the city. Is it, it is actually like, really funny, like, in, the, in U.S. history... It goes to where we made a amendment to the Constitution, banning alcohol. Uh huh. Then we gave women the right to vote. Why did they remove? Her and then shirt? we put, and then we legalized alcohol again. Why did they remove her shirt? You know why. I understand it's fan service, but there's like no reason to do so. Besides to show that, like what the fuck? Oh, yeah, it's like you're, you're cyborg boy. Maybe Imagine he's this... going to be a cyborg well, boy, too. She got stained. Oh, well, so did he. Why does she give them, like, red blood as well? Oh, is he also a cyborg? Yeah, that'd be kind of funny. Or is he like a human? Yo. Right in the got... neck. Ah, there it is. What is it? She said, "If humans don't want me, why did they create me?" Just oh. like the box. Oh no, I missed it. Oh. Don't do it. You're actually human. If she was human, she'd be fucking dead. <laughs> she just got stabbed in the sternum, like right here. <clears throat> you have emotions. You're crying, maybe leaking oil. But it's also kind of a funny thing if you think about it in all these movies and shows and everything, where it's like humans are kind of right. I was like, okay, well, you're not really, so you have, uh, you say you have empathy, mm-hmm. and then the humans try to kill some of them, and they just want to, like, wipe, instantly wipe out all the humans. <laughs> just all of them. It's like, so I just each... instantly just want to kill you. So what you're saying is they're Bender. Uh, Bender's a lovable old, old rascal. Yeah, he's a like alcohol. Oh, rascal. Did you oh yes, the... my friend. I have no idea who the fuck this is. Did you hear that they're... Uh, Are they trying to do it again? They're, they're bringing, bringing back, back Futurama again. But isn't it like Bender's not in it? Or is the voice actor's not in it? Oh, she just jumped off the side. So yeah, John DiMaggio, the voice of Bender. Fun fact, also the voice of, for some reason, Jake the dog. Um, is... Oh yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, because it's like the same voice actor. And that's how yeah. I like, oh my god, wow, it's really funny that you do <clears> these two voices. <laughs> Which is literally just like your voice, just like, ha 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 ha, versus like, oh yeah, go fuck yourself. It's like the only difference he's really doing. Uh, they did not sign, I guess they couldn't meet a contractual agreement. <laughs> he is not, Bender is coming back, but he is not voicing him. Yeah, people are not going to like it. They seem okay with it, because John DiMaggio, like, made a public statement about it, where he's ultimately fine with it. But they're like so, guys. It's it, it it came out in like ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety eight. You gotta let it go, man. It's been a long time. It's been twenty two years. I'm done. Okay. He's like, yeah, I just want to pursue other projects. They couldn't meet what I wanted, and I just said no. And they were like, oh, okay. So basically, he came out and said, we just have creative differences, which is you know money, yeah. and I want to do things that you don't want to do. Yeah. Or I'm tired yeah. of doing the current thing. This is what happened to the game girls. Uh. <laughs> well, you game know, uh, Ego Raptor's dad is Hitler, so there was that. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, you never seen? I, th- I thought you saw like the one episode of um, John Tron where he was like reviewing Star Wars, and they did the thing where like Ego Raptor and John Tron like got back together for like a little scene. Oh. And he was just like, and Ego was like, "Yeah, I'm, my dad's Hitler." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, he is." <laughs> I guess you. I guess you shouldn't have let me write your lines, huh? What? <laughs> that was like a, a scene in it where he's just where. Is that in Starcade? 
I think, yeah, like one of the star, like the last Scar, uh, Starcade episode. I need to watch those. Yeah, Eorathor is just like, oh yeah, because my dad's Hitler. It's like yeah, you know, I should have thought that you were evil. It's like yes, I'm not evil just because my dad is Hitler. Hmm. He's like yeah, yeah, he is. And he's just like, should I let me do your lines? So I love the difference between the back of the box for the description and the description I get from this. Oh, I guess we're getting like. Backstory now for her. Trap, trap, trap. So She's a trap. <laughs> God damn it. So the backstory from this, I'm not going to go into it, but it is multiple paragraphs of text and information. Don't read that whole thing. I would just like to point out that when I like first saw this, I thought it was just a little guy. You thought it was a guy? Yeah, I thought that was a guy. It, it looks, does kind of look guy-like. It looks like a guy. It looks like, well, to be fair, it looks like um, Rayoni Kenshin. That's what it reminded me of. But you didn't see Ramona Kenshin on there, so you were like, yeah, it's different, I'll watch it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll get this thing. So, yeah, so apparently uh, Armitage's uh, Poly Matrix the Third is... Um, the movie. Yeah, the movie. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's like her like being messed up. It's like, oh my god, it's a robot. I was like, it shows her face here, and it's like white. Mm-hmm. But down here is like showing like, you know, more like flesh skin. Why are you taking a picture of a round thing? It looked like a face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you were saying, yeah. I was texting that for my wife. I don't know, it's like a really weird, like, I mean, think this would be like skin, but I guess this is supposed to be the skin. I don't know. No, but like, look at the back of that for the description, right? Yeah, you so it's the... 2139 Mars. Yeah, but it goes into like a whole story of the movie. Meanwhile, you look at Funimation... The description for it is, Armitage is a brass cybernetic cop with a racy wardrobe who patrols a Mars metropolis. Like, the fucking movie from 20 years ago gives more description. Oh, I'm sorry, 30 years ago. Yeah, because that is just like a short blurb from, like, nerds who just want to watch, you know, sexy anime titties. This is trying to get you to buy a movie that was, you know, about $80, so they're trying to say how great it is. And this is like Pioneer, so this is like the original anime. Oh. What? It gave me more information about the movie. Oh my god. This still has more. This is like a fucking oh, yeah. paragraph. That's like a that's like a backstory to it. <clears throat> oh and I'm dead in my library. Oh no! So yeah, apparently the dude's just going around killing women. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's up? Go ahead. What? I was making fun of the way that she was dying. Oh, right? oh okay. Because I lack empathy. So yeah, the dude who's going around killing people, he's only specifically killing women who are just highly advanced androids, is the theme for all of the muck ducks that have happened. Oh, so that's why they all have big anime titties. Got it. Okay. God, the voice acting sucks. <laughs> it does a little bit. I mean, I've been serious. It's pretty much, you know... <clears throat> the third. I heard a third in there. The third. Like I said, this is like early 90s hentai voice actors. Yep. So... Now you like sealed. It includes a special edition postcard. Oh, okay, so I guess this one's like sealed. Okay. Armitage. Oh, you're giving them the fuck me eyes. <laughs> Which her pompa had, you know, give her the ability to do. Yeah, right. I mean, you've seen this picture on the fucking screen next to me. Look at that. Look at that shit on the left. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, anime titties. Not even that big anime titties. Ah! Either. Like I said, she's like 14. <laughs> it's like she used to draw underage girls and pretend that they're older. I can't believe it. Or, you know, they're a robot, so it doesn't matter. I'm a 39-year-old man that works for the police. Ah, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. 
Now we're going down the slidey elevator. Oh, problem. That's a great question. Why is this dude in like simp equipment? That's the first word I could use to describe it. It may not be accurate. Did you hear that? It's like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, I did. Oh, no! My anus! This isn't gonna work. We're gonna die, maybe. Stop. Well, they stopped. Stop! Oh! Well, you know, I just, uh, nose down and caught a night. <laughs> Why does she have shoulder armor on her BDSM jacket? Why the Nazi memorabilia? Why the... <laughs> I understand the robot tank. Why the Nazi hat? You understand the robot tank. Did it's 2149. Why the Nazi hat? You know what? It's Mars 2149. Why the Nazi hat? Who is bringing Nazi memorabilia out of Mars? Why is she in like such skimpy clothing? Why does that have a big wheel on the butt? We know why she's in skimpy clothing. It's because the movie was made by a bunch of pedophiles. People who were trying to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the shadow is so weird on that. What is this? He's like, I gotta turn my headlights on. I oh, guess it's shit. like a broken, like, tank. It must like be. the, uh, touch comas from Zero Zero Nine. Oh, not Zero Zero Nine. It's fucking another anime. From, uh, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. What about the tanks? Aren't the tanks alive? Don't they have feelings? I don't know, but I kind of, I guess they were going for, like, a spider. Oh, he's dying. I'm just gonna like wait, even though you're like running. What the fuck? All right, I gotta get naked for this. Of course. Up. Oh. oh look, an excuse to make her wet. God damn it. Am I wrong? No, but. Up. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm just saying they want you to yell really loudly. <laughs> like and, you're like, in pain. pain. Yeah. But also kind of enjoying it. Ah! We're also going to do... What the oh. fuck was that? She, like, blinked at it and it exploded. Oh, there's, like, a whole dude in there. Oh, wait. She's also in, like, her garter belt, it looks like, and, like, panties. <gasps> you son of a bitch! Okay, so I guess the realization is he's not dead. Somehow he came back to life. So basically what you're saying is that she should have killed him. No, she did kill him. Oh! Oh my goddess, he should have swear! Oh no! That got us the, uh, the not rated. <laughs> yep, that got us demonetized. Way to go. Well, at least it's not like, you know, censored with a bush. Yeah, he's right. Like the, uh, really early versions of fucking Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Where it's like, oh no, we can't have, you know... Whoa. Whoa. Ah! 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 It came up again! Hey! No! I'm dying! Also, the Stone Tolls do the animation at that point? Oh, he's dead. You know, a little, like, smirk. Look, I'm in my, like, underwear that, like, I don't know, 40-year-old wears. <laughs> He's like, you did it. You know, you killed him by not killing him. I have a robot him. leg, so I'm kind of a robot. What is that, her dildo? <laughs> I saw that too. What the fuck? All that blood just like was not there and then happened there. And he's dead. What? Yep. Are you like sad? <clears throat> Are you worried about your friend there? Oh my god! Ah! She geesed! Up. Oh. And don't we're worry, down. we're gonna go be free. I don't even know what the other person's there for. <laughs> what we're the gonna... fuck? They're like walked away, like they've been like walking away for like two minutes. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. 
They went beyond. They went plus ultra. Sure, go huh? Oh no, he's over 50% not human. Ugh, excuse me. Now he's even more like her. What do you mean? He has like a single bandage on his head. That's it. Oh, it says thank you for not smoking. This is a smoke-free facility. Yeah. I like how it looked like he had a bald spot, but it was just a hat. Oh, that's a dead body. No, it's a dead robot. Oh. Ugh. Why are you gonna do the Y-shaped incision on the robot? Right. He's like, I'm here just to sell stuff in my straw hat. <laughs> it's Luffy's, like, long, lost grandfather. Oh, I was thinking, like, worst alternate universe Luffy. <laughs> worst alternate universe Luffy. And Frankie <laughs> built all these robots, and now I sell hey, them. I'm here Walmart. to sell you, like, some parts. You want to look at this? You see, I even gave her a bush. Because <laughs> that's what you like. He even gave her a bush. And this is the movie we chosen today. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Did they just say I'm capable of giving birth? What? Hang on. Yeah, she's actually German. Why the fuck are there Nazis on Mars? Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Her last name was Hip. What is this, Full Metal Alchemist? Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah, talk about souls and shit. Oh. That was supposed to be equivalent exchange. Yeah, they equivalently exchanged a soul into another thing. I don't know. I'm just being weird. You're trying to bring your mother back to life. She's like, haha. They made you the fuck. <laughs> I did you did she not see the red light district? Right. That's why they made you. No, the like, excuse they gave is that you could integrate into human society, not freak people out, and you could go undercover and you could do the dangerous jobs that humans um, won't have to do. Right? But that's not what The happens. actual reason is because they want to fuck you. Not the one very horny Asian man with his mermaid. <laughs> very bad mermaid, too. Just like a rat for feet up. It's like... I'm gonna carry you back to my life. You're a mermaid now. And when I guess it's gonna be my mermaid, we're gonna watch the movie Tusk. Oh, have you seen these misprints? These are dope. So they just like ran out of ink and didn't think about it? Yeah. I guess. Okay. <laughs> they were like, oh, we fucked up. The first, like, actual Android we have is just gonna, like, overheat and burst into flames, and... Right. Somebody's gonna come in, there's gonna be, like, a human there, he's also dead, he's, like, in a very compromising position. Mm -hmm. They're gonna teach it to burp alcohol, or burp flames. No, not even that, there's gonna be, like, there's gonna be somebody who was mm -hmm. fucking the robot, and the robot <laughs> overheat. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, John, is that you shouldn't buy, um, any robots from Microsoft or Sony. <laughs> Until they work out those bugs. You don't want to have your robot burst into flames. Right. Especially when you're in a compromising position. I'm a real 
Oh, girl. <laughs> Stick the tongue out. Fucking. Guess where all my memories are at. Oh, my God. Oh, he's dead. So he's not human enough to be a robot. But he's a guard. Yeah, he's a guard, but he's not human enough, though. Yeah. Yeah, she said it again. Pregnant. No, I think she said she can't. Yeah, so but, she can't. Yeah, but that alludes to the fact that the red jacket one can't. What the fuck is this? This is porn made by pedophiles to sell to other pedophiles in the 90s. <coughs> when it well, was harder to get it, I guess. She stayed. She did a stab. I need to discover myself. She should just like go to France. Outlaw Star did this better. What is Outlaw Star? Outlaw Star is like an probably early it's like a no, it's probably in the nineties. Nineties, early two thousands, like one of the older animes. <clears throat> and it's like a guy and like his for whatever reason kid's sidekick. And like a Oh god. Yeah, there he is. It's like a beast person. Yeah, that's a uh Katar uh, Katar. There it is. Like for whatever reason the guy the redhead has like the blonde kid. So those two are like hanging out for whatever reason. I don't know mm. why. I think they're. I think he's supposed to be an orphan, and the other guy is like a street, kind of like an older street punk, like bounty hunter type guy who's mm -hmm. also kind of an orphan and took the kid in. <clears throat> um, one of them is a assassin. He tried to kill somebody, one of his friends that he saved, and like tricked her into trying to kill him, but she never did again. It's a space opera or a space western. Yeah, it's like a space western. Um, the other one is the, the cat lady. The cat girl. What's happening? Are you having sex right now? I don't even understand. Oh, I guess she's like being forced to attack her. Oh, well, off she goes. Well, you know, they had a little Yuri there after their reality. Um, the one's like an alien for like the Katar Katar Empire. Who I think is, is she a cop? I can't, I might be confusing this with uh, uh, Tenshi Mu. Oh. <laughs> and then the final one, the uh, the girl with like the black hair is like an android who they use as like the um, ship navigation for the Outlaw Star, mm -hmm. which is like a really like old but somehow advanced spaceship. Mm. Oh, so uh, he took over her body. Ah. <laughs> We're kind of like a 12-year-old girl now who's also apparently a Nazi. So I need to know now because you keep saying that. Like how old she is? Ha, huh, I punched you out of the computer. No, nope, that, that is not, that is not at all. I mean, the voice actress is going to be a lot older. There we go. Uh, Elizabeth, no, it's Naomi Armitage. Okay. Yeah, her name's Naomi Armitage. Right. Yeah, I, I, I saw that age. That's the second result was age. <laughs> I saw that age. Let's see. I don't think this will give me exactly what I want. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's she burst into flames. Oh! Didn't she say that her memories were stored there? So isn't she, like, backed up? So doesn't, like, not really matter? She must be, yeah. I mean, I guess it can be kind of, like, messed up that you, like, lose a body. And have to go through, like, you know, death, but... <clears throat> Let's see. I need your help! Please, come get me! So this Wikipedia... My pussy's wet and I can get pregnant! It is a, it is made by pedophiles for pedophiles. 
Well, go ahead. We'll take that to your grave. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. Yeah, because she's a robot, she was made like probably like two years ago. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm not looking see, at this. See, it refers to him as Papa. Ugh, that's creepy. Yeah, that's what I say. It's like her Papa made her to be like a little BDS 14 year old. It's weird. The Papa. Oh, my God. Uh, Why don't you just go back to the search result that said age? I will, but uh, people have called this simply a retelling of Pinocchio. That's... that's. Is she, like, trying to be a real boy or something? Is that what this is about? From what I understand, yes. I mean, I don't think... Pinocchio is, like, you know, so is about a man... He wanted a son and got a puppet to come to life. And the puppet has to learn what it is to be human, make mistakes, and eventually meet his dad again and have, like, the mistakes that he made, like, you know, be obvious Mm -hmm. and then be forgiven by his dad. And I think he, like... I don't think he sacrifices himself to save Geppetto. Um, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen Pinocchio. But I think he, like, he tries to save his dad, or he sacrifices himself to save his dad, I think. Or he he gets, eventually, like, gets killed. Uh, which is weird, because he's, like, made out of wood at this point, so I don't know how he could be dead. But, you know, it's, uh, it, it was a movie. Mm-hmm. That's what that is about. This is about, hey, I'm human. So and I found the age. Is it wait, hold on, wait. Is it below fourteen? It is non-descriptive. Oh, so it's really just non-descript? They have not they have canonically not given her an age. Yeah, because she's a robot. She's like two. Yep. <laughs> so the age is just whatever somebody jack into it decides it to be. I swear, Mom and Dad, she's a twelve year old ancient goddess. Twelve year old. Oh, I'm sorry, 12,000-year-old ancient... Well, yeah, she is a 12-year-old, but... She's a, she's a 1,000-year-old ancient goddess named, um... What, Panty and Brawl? Whatever the fuck it was called. Panty and Stocking? Yeah, Panty and Stocking. And Garter Belt. Made by the voice actor for Bulma. Yeah. They and I forget who the other one was. It was like a Bulma and some... The one who did Bulma, one of the Bulmas. And it's like some other chick. Yeah, one I think the did Bulmas. it. Yep. I like how I created a new separate tab outside of my tabs here. Gertie! Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, he did. I feel like this video, this movie would be a lot more interesting if we could, like, see subtitles. I mean, I think I oh, found no. him, but I think it's only for DVD. Yeah, so it's like... I mean, I can see. Let's see oh, no, I'm fine. Subtitle. Like, I'm committed at this point to just kind of grasp it. Oh, my God! And, okay. I was like, and you broke <laughs> <laughs> No, that's bad. I mean, I'm fine with what's happening. Bitches right love cannons. Bitches love cannons. Yeah, okay, bitches come. love cannons. Sorry, see, guys. okay, wait. Okay. So this entire time, this little 14-year-old girl... Oh. Has Broke. been being beat. She was able to be beaten up by a guy. Yeah. And, like, you know, taken advantage of and all that shit. And now she is running through heavily armored tanks. Yeah. Like they're fucking paper. Now apparently she's wearing black. Yeah. I guess she got fucked, so now she's, you know, she's all like, yeah, now I'm pregnant and I can do things. You are stuck on this, sir. It's very weird to give your daughter an artificial pussy after making her a BDSM 14-year-old. She still has her collar on. She, look, they, look, look. They put on black clothing so that they could blend in and be more stealthy even though they weren't. Oh, look, it's her papa. Oh, it's the guy. And yet she has this weird BDSM collar that's going to be flapping around, making noise... Oh, that's not her dad. That's the bad guy. Oh, he was dead the whole time. He was actually somebody else. Hey, he's just there. Oh, he's awake. Yeah, see, she's a failure because she can't get pregnant. I'm about ready to Google that to see if that's accurate. What? She She just took him.
Yeah, now she suddenly she has really good hearing. The boogeyman. No, it's oh. literally a tank. That's a hand. Oh, okay. Is that like another guy or the same guy? So what I understood from the I really movie, have not been paying attention. From what I understood in my reading of things to answer questions. Yeah. He has been apparently making like copies of himself. Copies of himself, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this then. Has he been making robot copies of himself or he's been making clones of himself trying to say that he's still a unique special snowflake? Uh so I think they're Android based copies. Okay, so he's making like an Android copy of himself that's like, yeah. oh, I'm so human. Yeah, so he's still... See, they program the androids with racism, John. <laughs> Meanwhile, this... This is why you don't let Nazis on Mars. But she didn't have anything to do with him. You know, he's just like unconscious and smiling. Your brother. Oh, he's my brother? Oh my god, it's like Star Wars, but no impact because they're robots. <laughs> they're all related. Or not at all, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that sound effect? <laughs> I have wheels now. <laughs> yes, the very shiny, like, metal wheels have rubber. Oh. I'm going Super Saiyan! Oh, I was going to say she learned the move Thunder Punch. Yeah, she did. Yeah, there we go. Well, we exploded. And everybody died, but not really. No! What are you doing? There's a lot of light, but I'm not hurt. I'm not he's, hurt. He's, he's down. Oh, her yeah, shirt he's, ripped off. He's oh, her skin ripped off. Oh, yeah, now she loses her BDSM collar. Yep, everything's gone. But she's also nude. Things exploded. Oh. The oh, fuck? You can't show this on TV. It's like a body. This is a movie. Yeah, but that's supposed to be the news. Yeah, but... You can't just show, like, burnt bodies on the news. It's uh, the they... future. Yeah. So they're like, oh, this is like the future, and these are cops, and the cops oh. are an AWOL. Oh. Yeah, they're like, we're burning, yeah, humans. All right, we're well, not humans, they're here. burning uh, uh, robots. Oh, they used one as a satanic candle. Let's go somewhere that's like, not creepy as fuck. <laughs> yes, please. I wonder how Earth is doing. Do you think they have any of these problems on Earth, or is it just Mars? I feel like it's just Mars that they have these problems. Oh my god, he's still got his stupid cell phone. This backwards ass screen. There you go, look! It's a phone! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> they would break so easily. He just <laughs> steals his phone! He's like, yeah, it's my phone now. Thanks for the phone, I can keep up. Yeah. I, so why are they, um, uh, why, why are the cops, like, now on the wrong side of the law and going to the desert so they could have babies? Um, wasn't, like, the one guy, like, evil? Was he, like, in with the government? These are questions that neither of us will ever have answers to. Yeah, yeah, because there are cops. The mind is the first thing to go. No, it's the fucking knees. Yep, mine are already gone. the fucking mind. The mind's like the last thing to go. Because usually your eyesight's gone. I mean, unless you get like hit in the head, I guess. But for me, it's my knees and my hearing. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Yeah. In the notes on the English release, on the English DVD release or edition of Polymatrix. Yeah. Um, the script writer, I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce his name. Can I see it? Uh, yeah, it's right here. 
Chiaki Konaka? <coughs> there you go. Uh, Chichi Konako. Chichi Konako. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just said it. Yeah. Uh, the scriptwriter says that Origins the Third was influenced by H.P. Lovecraft's story, The Dunwich Horror. One of his best known works and a key text in the Cthulhu Mythos. One of the main characters in the tale is a Dr. Armitage. Yep. I'm sorry, Dr. Uh, Amartage. Oh my god. Four episode video animation, animation. Animation? Animation, ODA. Original video animation. Yeah, let's hit blood, flesh in the stone. Let me, let me go back to plot. Okay, let's see here. Uh, so there's a bunch of there's an overpopulation on Earth. They colonized Mars. They the first type of androids, men that were able to begin terraforming the unfriendly environment of Mars. Now she's wet again. The fuck? Why is there a tree guy? Because you know. Maybe that's her dad. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Sometime after the start of the colonization, the city completed its inhabitants by, uh, oh, sometime after the start of colonization, the city is completely, is completed and inhabited by great numbers of people and second type robots, much improved versions of the first types. Uh, raw <clears throat> syllabus, which I think is the one dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Where am I going with all this bullshit? Watch out, there's a middle-aged policeman. Oh my god, he is, like, in his 40s. Yep. Uh, from Chicago, of course. Flies to St. Louis. See, I told you he was a pedophile. Flies to St. Louis, or St. Lowell, uh, using a space shuttle. Silvis is asked to transfer to the Martian Police Department to escape from his past and haunted memories of his previous partner being killed by a robot. Oh. So that's what we, we saw. I saw that part. Uh, he meets his new partner, a young woman named uh, Naomi Armitage. Um, the space shuttle Armitage travels. And so this travels Kelly McCannon, the last country singer in the universe. Thank God she's dead. <laughs> um, and this is the thing. I think this is like another part of him. I like making tree people. Your knives. Whatever damn cloth. Okay, so apparently he's not the murderer man who was murdering. Uh, maybe he's just another uh, blonde, and because I thought the one girl was like a man, maybe that's what's going on. It's just another blonde hair, blue <coughs> white <Whatever>. man. <laughs> Go away. Uh, he witnesses a disturbing. Okay, so he gets off the space shuttle. There's like a bunch of people there. He bumps into a serious man in a big suitcase and two guards. Or is meant to stop and get the other orange? Yeah, so we saw that part. Yeah. Two robot guards are killed by Armitage, and a serious man is wounded with fleas. He leaves the suitcase behind the dead body of Killy McCannon. Killy McCannon. Yeah, oh, so that's why everybody was sad. He was the country music singer. Mm. Context. Uh, okay. Terry's surprise and horror turns out to be a robot. Oh my god, I can't believe it. The new never seen before third type. So basically, um, the thing happened there, everybody freaked out because mm-hmm. robots are now humans, <laughs> and uh, they're around us, and now we feel less human because they're like, I don't know, attractive and or not, I don't know. Uh, he hacks post television, replaces security camera footage, showing him killing her, okay. Um, Rene, oh, no wonder he's French, no wonder he sucks. Uh, reveals that the third types have been among regular people for a long time. Nobody can tell them apart from humans. I mean, you can. You just gotta cut them like in a couple inches. It's not that hard. 
You know, there's a list of the thirds, and turns out a lot of well-known people are actually robots, which makes people freak out, I guess. Riots begin in the city. Why? If they are robots, what does it matter? Hmm. I mean, it's not even like, hey, our government is... Oh, my God, they're kissing oh. again. But no. Oh, I don't want you to think I'm a slut. I can't be... Not, not. Oh, oh, there we go. Did I tell you that I'm able to get pregnant? Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Nick, are you sure you want to see my boobies? It's like, I'll show you. Look at me. Oh, God. And then they just end up doing it in the night. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Once again, he's in his 40s and she's 14. Or two. Four. Which other one makes it worse for you? Oh, see, I was going to have the, you know, the positive spin and be like, oh, they're, they're, yeah, not that age different, but, you know, okay, sure. Yeah, she's like brand new. She's not that old. Meanwhile, there's this. Now, she's, she's not a robot. Because nobody would think a robot looks that ugly. She has, like, floaties above her head. I like it's, like, you know, Mars or, like, a tree. And then, like, just the Earth. Oh, God! See? Now she's pregnant. They had sexables. Among the trees. And now her dad's just looking at her naked body. <laughs> There's something I would like to show you, too. It's my cock. <laughs> she's just, like, wrapped around in his, in his thing. Wrapped around his thing? Yeah, she's not even have her clothes on. She's just wrapped around his fucking jacket. Hey, she can't find him. Dear God. By the way, he's a horrible monster. Excuse me. Female assassin robots. This like they look human. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Okay. And now there's the lady counterpart. You know, like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you're like, yeah, you're an assassin robot. No, no shit. How the fuck would you be a robot and a cop? Did you know? No, she's got her clothes, but that, she's just wearing the thing. <laughs> that is like the room levels of like I was like I'm nothing I'm unfinished he doesn't even care <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna sit over here and cry while you two talk about the plot I assume she's talking about her, her father quotes in this scenario yeah hmm. uh, so they go off in search of her father and daughter um, Asura or Asakura I guess only to learn he's lost his mind explained by the gentler reprogrammed version of Don Clade Okay, so yeah, he's like the same thing. Basically, Don Clade hates humans, or hates the uh, Tier 3s, mm -hmm. but is also a robot himself. <gasps> what a twist. Living the illusions of creating forts. I only learned that he lost his mind. He explained that generally program version. Living with the illusions of creating forts. They learned that the thirds were originally assassin roids. Deadly robot. I'm just gonna ruin the entire thing right here because I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, deadly robots with organic components. Oh, okay. Organic components. Okay. And he went through it, masquerading as capable infiltrating secure facilities, masquerading as humans, because of course. It's 
product was repurposed to bolster the low Martian birth rate. Of course it was. They're literally doing the whole thing from uh, Futurama where I'm just going to make out with my my robot. It's like, no, you're going to procreate. Oh my god. Summer is on Earth strong. Oh my god. Product was repurposed to bolster the Martian. Uh, Summer is on Earth strongly feminist society. Encouraging the immigration of males and discouraging the immigration of females. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Men get the fuck off the planet. Ever yeah, since discovery of the thirds, uh, and since its leadership forcing Mars to reverse its plans. Earth demanded the thirds be annihilated, offering female immigrants as a reward. Oh my god, they're trying to say, we're giving you women if you kill them all. So pretty much there's like a planet of like mostly men. Is that a cat? I think a cat's trying to come in. Yep, it is a cat. Hey Shiva, I see you. Okay. Papa, why does you make me look so weird? He's like, nope. Uh, I was very, oh, oh, yeah, I was about to say, I was very worried where that hand was going. Went straight to the taser, which apparently can work on robots. Daddy will fix his little girl. Dear fucking God. The fuck? Now you are made. I don't know if I want to know how daddy's fixing this little girl. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> okay. Scourging. Okay. So that was the scourging thirst. First and Mars leadership. Okay. Yep. Uh, shock and dismay armitage leading her to seek comfort in Ross. Literally. Who affirms her value as a living being before consummating the relationship? Okay. Asuka deactivates Armitage. She can install angelical wings and particle cannons on her chassis. Oh my fucking god. Military kills Asuka. Uh, um, As Asakura. And Armitage and Ross eventually finish off the military. Just in the military. All right. Months later, Ross returns to Mars using false IDs and Armitage sells. First way as Ross's. Ross sells his arrival. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have this sign right here. Armitage tells Ross. That she is pregnant with her child. Um, oh, it's actually so bad. Wouldn't the fact that they're assassin droids be a reason not to like them? Maybe to, in to uh, infiltrate? 
human society to kill people? Oh my god. We're reusing all the footage. So now I'm confused. <laughs> this is, they're being activated. I guess some of them are like obviously like robots because they have the things in their heads. So some of the robots are like really robotic. And some of them are like, they look human. They're like the seconds, I guess. And I guess people know about them. <laughs> Even though they're very human, besides like little things on their heads, nobody ever considered, hey, what do we lift these off? Um, I have an idea, though. Um, why don't you just weigh them? Because if you're making a robot out of, like, you know, metal, they're not going to weigh the same as a human. As we saw, as she was running around, just crushing in the armor tanks. Oh yeah, the real power. This is where she has her particle cannon wing, angel wings. Because, oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can hear you everywhere. I, I know, I know. And I realize, look. So basically, her dad was like, I remember you. And then his hand was moving a weird place. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, instantly, with a taser that uh, knocked her out somehow. Even mm -hmm. though, you know, she was... Became electricity at one point. Oh, ah, so she's evil now. No, she's good. She oh. has uh, she has wings and can fly in particle cannons that her daddy gave her. And she was like, daddy will fix his little girl. Uh, so now right. they're going and taking out the military, which I think is supposed to be Earth, because Earth is very upset. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I did also learn... So she's a bat person now, yes? Yeah, she's like a bat person. I also learned that, like, uh, Earth is now ruled by, like, a feminist government that was convincing men to go to Mars, but not women. So Mars, or Mars is basically all incels and they're robots, is what Mars is, and the robo and and the incels are very upset about it. Apparently, I believe that. Oh, uh, now she got injured, and yeah, she just has like particle cannons. Huh? But yeah, I just I just went ahead and like read uh, the rest of it. <laughs> so there's like supposed to like destroy the military. Spoiler alert. Oh god, he's gonna have like a blade sword, isn't he? Because he knows the future. Uh, his his arm is blown off like his real arm. Oh my god. And apparently he like so hates the, the threes. I was like, they don't have a reason to hate you. I'm like, I'm I'm pretty sure the uh the fact that your assassins made to infiltrate human society to murder us is a good reason to be a little fearful. Oh, there's the governments again. Earth and Mars with the big trees. And, like, violence, I guess. And <laughs> violence, I guess. John, you ever wake up and choose violence? Uh, no, I can't say that I did. No, well, they woke up today and chose violence. I like how this is supposed to be, like, the swell to the end of the movie. Yeah, I know, right? It's, like, all the people going about their lives while, uh... So people are going about their lives, about to be annihilated by, like, robots, I'm assuming, run by uh, humanity. Google. Uh, well, I already <laughs> read it. I think, it, I don't know what they have. No, I'm not <laughs> saying to Google it, but I'm saying they're going to be annihilated by Google. Oh, yeah, most likely. <laughs> they're being, like, uh, attacked by people, and I'm just like... So basically, it's like, oh, look, the uh, the, pe the person who denied their humanity, and the man who's part machine... It's the one that saved everyone <laughs> from, like, Earth's evil... I don't know. They just said, apparently, they just destroy the entire military. I don't know who's military. I think it's Earth. It could be Mars. I don't know. It's a combination of both. It's New Mexico. 
Why? They, they just have a particular saying that they could have been red. New Marzica. I guess they needed to keep it, like, mysterious, mysterious. No, it's supposed to be Mars. No, but I'm saying, like, oh, you don't know that you're on Mars yet? Well, no, they say in the beginning it's oh. Mars. I'm re- it's like, he, he leaves and comes to Mars. Oh. The synopsis <laughs> is, it's 2149 on Mars. No, oh, they must have replaced all the red sand. <laughs> Wait, we didn't know. The terraforming, well, I guess technically the sand on Mars isn't all that red. It's more like a filter type of thing. It's like yeah. slightly more red than regular sand, but like still not all that red. And I'm assuming back in 93, we didn't know about Mars's landscape. I don't know, maybe. Oh. Like I said, they're a bunch of pedophiles making movies for pedophiles. I'm not going to lie. It's like 90s anime is interesting to me. Just I mean, I, looks... I appreciate it that it's like actual, like drawn yeah, like cell shaded. Oh uh, yeah. Well, not, not really shaded, cell. Like, like it's actually like drawn. Yeah. Art and it's not like, um, speed racer levels of oh, fuckery. God, yeah. <clears throat> and, you know the world is like kind of bland. It's not really like that lived in. <laughs> Everybody's like walking over now because they found out she was a robot. Like, now oh, there's no more country music singers, so that's one good thing. Yeah, it's, look, we can't ask for yeah. anything better. So than now that. all the humans are like, I don't care. I think that's what it's supposed to be. The humans are like, I don't care about this. Oh, oh, about oh, that was it. Oh, okay. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, was the... that was that literally it? Yeah, that was the best time to ask that question too. Okay, so I guess either we missed it because we were fucking around, or it doesn't explain it that well in like this version of it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to read you, like, the last bit of it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they learned that uh, the assassins, basically, Armitage gets upset. Yeah. The revelations shock and dismay Armitage, leading her to seek comfort in Ross, who affirms her value as a living being, before consummating their relationship. The next day, um, Asakura deactivates Armitage so he can install Angelica Wing's particle cha- cannons on her chassis. The military kills, um... Asakura. Yeah. Armitage and Ross eventually finish off the military. Months later, Ross returns to Mars using, a fal- using false IDs. However, Armitage throws her away after Ross's after Ross syllabus's arrival. Armitage tells Ross, Ross that she is pregnant with their child. Yo, bet. And then apparently the dual matrix has some other things that are happening. It's been like several years since the offense and the previous one. Mm. Uh, they're living under and assume identities. I appreciate that this is alphabetized. I guess that's one way to do it. They just wanted to put the Americans down last. No, they have Yuzo Hirata. I don't know how American that name is. All these are like Japanese names, my dude. Yeah. You're saying they were put the Americans at the bottom. Yeah. They haven't gotten to the Americans yet. <laughs> These are all the Japanese people. Nah. Maybe they, maybe Japan puts it in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We always, like, do it by order of, like, the actors and then... Production Just crew, random things and then that the they production babies up. come in at the end. Yeah, I guess they just do it there. There you go. In Betweeners co-production. Tap. Tap. Young Woo Pro. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. So let's see. Do we do anything? They live under assumed identities. They work for he works for a company to restore oceans to Mars using ice asteroids. Uh, then, but there's new effort to restore the third project. Ross and Naomi to travel to Earth. Welcome to Earth. Earth. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Art is to give a data on how thirds can con- conceive. So humanity can create a race of beings who exist to serve. Isn't that like slavery extra steps? Don't you already have robots that are like made to serve? They're literally made to serve? Why would you need to make like another race? Because why not? But you already had the robots. Plot? That's not a plot. That's just a bad B movie. Which is what this is. Yeah. So there you go. There's your answer. This is so weird. Yeah. Uh, she didn't escape, but is damaged. I shouldn't say they say anything about like their kid they apparently supposedly had. Probably in two or one. 
Uh, oh, this is one. Oh, this is two, apparently. Um, in a post credit scene, Mouse salvages one of Armitage's clones for himself. Well, yep. that's concerning. Uh, is this going to be a post credit scene here? Do I have to like wait <clears throat> to the end? Is that why like all the way at the end? Let's find out. Uh, however, I'm just I'm like not really paying too too much attention here. There's no funny names. I've been looking, except for the cool corporation <laughs> and the K music. <laughs> well, I mean, they're all like Japanese names, and I don't know that many Japanese people. Well, I guess it probably would be. This is like Japan, right? Prime Minister Frederick O'Hara sends Ross to Earth to represent the planet and support robot and <laughs> support robot rights. There is not so, a post credit scene. Okay, so I guess that's not that. Yep. Uh, Dimitri, oh. uh, Dimitri's agents that reveal that they were planning on killing Ross from the start conveyed to the deal. So they tried to kill Ross. Apparently, it's an, a, a space elevator. His location to determine with a map. It's a space elevator. What the fuck? And then we got <clears> the credits. Uh, Cinnamon Artist flees to Mouse, who repairs the damage and gives her a program. Oh, allow her to go beyond her limited fighting abilities. Hey man, so limited fighting abilities? She ripped through tanks. She had particle cannons. Oh, man. I was like, I'm a human. By the way, you can install like wings on my chassis and uh, particle cannons that I can use to destroy the military. Uh, broadcast footage of the third massacre attempts all Earth and Mars upon seeing it himself. Mouse comments, I think it's inhuman and I'm a robot. <laughs> Okay. Uh, compels Dimitrio to command the clones to prevent the family from leaving. The, both clones are beating Dimitri, or beating Dimitri tries. Having the elevator's defenses uh, fired on their shuttle only to be killed by the last remaining clone. Who is, at the time, controlled by what is left of Polymatrix's Jillian Moore. I have to ask at this point because I, don't I haven't know. been paying attention. What the fuck are you reading? Uh, this is uh, the second one. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm reading, I'm spoiling the plot in the second one. You have read a hologram of Jillian Moore then appears, wishing that the family goodbye. Near the end, so the family enjoying a day at the beach. I'm assuming somewhere in here their kid um, pops up. You have read many paragraphs, of which I have not followed any of it. <laughs> I haven't followed this entire movie. So, okay. So apparently what happens... Here's my here's my synopsis. In the future, the feminists and all the men on Mars, men make robots in order to have sex with, eventually getting to the point where they can procreate, angering Earth to want them to destroy the robots... Yep. And the people freak out for some reason. They don't even know that the robots are, like, uh, assassins. They're just like, oh, there's robots among us. I'm like, you can't tell there's... Us. They're robots. They're yeah. among us. They're among us. Yeah, among us. It's like, you can't... There, there's an imposter among us. But basically, it's the plot to among us. People are freaking out about everything. Um, and then all the incels up on Mars who have their robot, um, uh, you know... Sex robots yep. are now trying to go to Earth and convince them that you know we should respect robot rights, uh, which is something in one of the bad Star Wars prequels because they have emotions or they're programmed to have emotions. And I'm still questioning about why the hell they are beating up. On like the other robots, don't the other robots have rights too? No. Or is it no? You have to get like close to us in order to have the rights. I'm like, it's like guys, I, I know that maybe in this universe, you know, sci-fi doesn't exist for some reason. But if you have a robot that looks somewhat human, but is obviously a robot, and then you have a robot that you can make look like a mermaid, and they sell robots that look how human-like they are and everything. It looks totally like a woman, and you can't tell the difference. It's not that hard to figure out, hey, you know, if the little things on our head, if we just leave those off, uh, they would just look human. Yep. In fact, they're already left off. The one mermaid girl that we see earlier in the movie, how the hell does anybody know that she's not a human? They're advertising, so they're advertising, you can make your own robot, 
that you can enjoy because it's the planet of men, apparently. And then everybody's shocked that the robots that you can customize are unable to be, you can't tell the difference. I guess they got like a slightly upgrade programming because the other ones are like a little weird in how they're like respond to you. You know, they're a little flat. And that is the company of Build-A-Bear. Well, what? That's just Build-A-Bear. This whole movie is to promote Build-A-Bear Workshop. Oh my god. I mean, that's all it is. If Build-A-Bear was making sex robots for children, we would have a lot more questions than what we did with this movie. May Yes, indeed. That would be very concerning. I am going to eject the tape. And I am going to end this year. But without you don't end it yet, you got to give your review. It's very important before we move on to movie two. I did. It was the prequel of Build the Bear Workshop. I'm right, John. Would you recommend other people watch this um, anime made by pedophiles for pedophiles? If you can hear it, go for it. If you can hear it, go for it? If you can hear it, go for it. What the fuck does that even mean? We couldn't hear it, so we don't know. Oh, if you can hear it, okay. It's yeah. like... So the joke there would have been, I don't know, I couldn't hear it. But I'm not good at jokes. You are too good at jokes. That's John pretending he doesn't have a personality. Yep. Um, but we yeah, do I mean, it looked, it looked interesting. The art's not the worst. The, I would say not go for the English third versions, unless you just want to not pay attention. Yeah. Um, because, oh my god. The, the voice actor is literally like hentai levels of like they're they're not they're they're not using their best I'm sure they're trying but it's just the room levels um I think I think in the um in the Netflix adaptation uh relaunch of the series I think um Omertage should be played by uh Vic Lasagna I think that would be a really a lot better nope well, you don't want uh, Vic Lasagna to play Armitage? No, I don't want Vic Lasagna to play Armitage. Do you know who um, Vic... I do. Okay. But you were calling him Vic Lasagna. That's because I can't pronounce, like, a Mananga, whatever the fuck his last name is. You literally just pronounced it. Uh, Mananga? Yeah. Well, it was, like, something else. I don't remember. Oh, it had something... Uh, anyway, yeah. I, I think it would be kind of funny just to have... Uh, you know, bringing it back to uh, John's joke earlier... Um, Full Metal Alchemist just playing like the like fourteen year old anime girl. Yeah, but that was the movie. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sorry. She's actually two because she's an android. She's two. Well, guys, pick it up if you can. If you have a Funimation subscription, look at that. Yeah, it's apparently on like Funimation, and I guess this is the shorter version of it. You can watch the longer version if you want. I'm I guess the longer one is just more you know filler. Yeah. So all animes need to have filler. They can't even do good filler, like One Piece. But literally one arc. Hey. <sighs> Why is Foxy canon? Because he can. But the right? other one, the really good, like, oh, we ended up inside of a naval, like, stronghold fortress. That's yeah. not canon. <laughs> That's just yeah. filler. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, I guess we are now move on to number two. Yep, we will continue this in part two. Well, that's uh, your boogaloo. Uh, Cybercop. Cybercop, electric cyber boogaloo cop. Movie is also based on Pinocchio and for some reason Dundrick, Dundrick's horror. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 